All right, things are starting to open up on my computer. What we should probably do, so we're going to have, how are we going to give away the headphones? I was thinking of getting people to go comment on the live somewhere uh, on YouTube. So if, if you're watching this live somewhere that's not YouTube, this is what we're going to do. And I know this is probably going to annoy some of you, but um, I'll be very honest with you. The idea behind giving things away is to help with engagement. The engagement gives us more reach. More reach means more people watch it. We might sell some more fertilizer. We make more profit. We give you more stuff. So if you can, if you want to be in the draw, and this you could have a one in 10 chance of winning this. If you want to be in the draw to win the Apple AirPods, mm -hmm. head over to the live on YouTube and just post a comment in the feed saying what, Jonesy? Worm. Worm. Yep. Write the word worm. Yep. And we will use a random comment picker. Hopefully I can make that work out of a live. I've never tried that before, so this could be really interesting. Uh, and we will give away some Apple AirPods brand new we didn't sell them when we had our um, what was that thing we did Black Friday, Black Friday sale. yeah we sold Playstations golf balls ones. no one bought the exclusive yeah time with Clint mm. anyway I still I can't hear anything probably going to take these off alright so uh, Apple AirPods for a random comment on the yep. YouTube live commenting worm so not a random comment, write the word worm. Uh, we'll keep reminding you throughout the feed. Number two, we're going to give away a spray pack for best question and then we'll give away another spray pack over on Facebook. How are we going to do that? Go to our most recent post. Yeah, which would have been... Let's have a look. I can hear me over there with you. I think part of the reason my laptop's not working is because it doesn't have the internet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the, the password's the same, obviously. Oh, no, didn't need a password. Yeah, so that if they want to go to Facebook... For the audio over their team. They want to go to Facebook and comment on the reel about wet into larger bottles. Oh, yeah. That's our most recent one. All right. And just comment wet? Comment wet. All right, and then we'll choose someone from that reel... Uh, who will win a spray pack delivered to your door just in time for winter. All right, so we should probably get into the questions. You said it. The W word. Is that a thing? Well, you hate the W word. Yeah, but I'm going to be multi uh, cross-continental now, so I don't True. really give a shit. Yeah. I will be not having winters. Yeah. I will be having spring and summer, yep. and then I'm going to go have spring and summer, yep. then I'm going to come back and have spring and summer. I think it goes in that order, doesn't it? Or summer and then spring. No, it's summer then autumn, so spring mm. and then summer. I'll yep. just keep doing that. Yeah. And uh, you can keep the wheels of the economy turning here and I'll go over there. Now, we should probably start by... Do you, you know what we should do? Because we don't usually do this. Let's talk about what you clickbaited everyone with um, around uh, your friend and mine, T-Swift. Oh, T-Swizzle. And her intentional damage oh. of the turf surface, at the, the lawn surface yeah. at the... MCG. Well, first of all, those of you that went would have had great time but then would have also been able to go out on the hallowed turf of the MCG. Now, there has been some of the most wackiest conspiracy theories I've ever come across about a lawn surface that the MCG are raising their ticket prices this year to pay for the lawn. That was one of them I, I saw. Okay. Um, for pay for what lawn? The replacement of the this replacement one, this turf, one lawn. Yeah, yep, yep. Um, what, what was Kira? What was another one that would that I was discussing about the MCG and the wacky theories? Oh yeah, food prices as well. That's why they're going up to pay for the lawn. To pay for the lawn. Okay. Yep. Um, nothing to do with inflation. Nothing to do with inflation. No. But um, I would, we want to settle settle the dust, and we want to just put the rumors to bed. Taylor Swift pays for that lawn. And we know that because when you hire the event or hire the area, inclusive of that fee is the repair fee of the turf. Which can be an elastic fee. Yes. And we know very much about this because Clint had a special guest from the SCG, Adam? Adam Lewis. Adam Lewis. And yep. when that Ed Sheeran came through at the stadium opposite the SCG, what's that called? 
Marvel? Nah. Uh, SCF? Anyway. <laughs> uh, they had to... Yeah, that's re- really horrible. Yeah. Alliance, that's it. Yeah, so he... Oh, someone got a man card. <laughs> <laughs> no soundboard. Great. That's yeah. good, guys. Thanks for keeping up with that. You just lost your man card. <laughs> <laughs> Yoink. <laughs> That air conditioner yeah. is not working. Nah. Josie, can, if you can hear us, and yeah. I hope you can, can you turn the air conditioner up, please? Like crank it. Um, yeah, so it's all inclusive of Taylor Swift's higher fee of the Oval. So I don't know where people are getting these theories from, but, like, do not worry about your tickets. They're of the footy this year. They're not increasing because of that. <laughs> I can guarantee that. I'd say that the reason that prices are going up, if they are going up, and I don't know that they're going up, would be because it is a business and it has to meet a certain level of profit to mm-hmm. satisfy the shareholders. And so if their costs go up, then the price goes up. And the cost, the tax on alcohol has just been increased as well. Did you know that? Uh, that's horrible. Mm. That's almost wor- worth, worse, worse. That's almost as bad as payroll tax. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I just want to put that to bed that T Swizzle is paying for. The return. I saw a rumor um, on Facebook this morning that she might be staying on Kangaroo Island for a little break with her with her uh, with her boyfriend. Well, what What's the fee now to get over there on the ferry? Like six hundred bucks. It's probably going to be eighteen hundred bucks while she's on there. Well, apparently there's a place over there that keeps things very. You won't know. Sorry, know. guys. I'm trying to open Restream, which is what we use to share things. Anyway, you probably. Um, want us to actually start answering some of your questions so kira is punching through questions and we are going to start with amongst oh hang on that's you you're writing social commentary (laughs) 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 okay i'll just read the question uh on youtube jpr dad i've started applying your products to my lawn but have now decided i want to do a full reno how long should I wait after having applied NSFW? Ideally, till the weeds are completely gone. Ideally. That's a common question, actually. Deborah on YouTube. How long after treating army worm should I fertilize? Um, so, and Clint and I talked about this the other night when he asked me why there wasn't a certain product in the army worm battle pack. Um, because... You don't want to push too much fertilizer recovery too too quickly after applying something like a celeprin or whatever you've chosen to tackle the armyworm because the plant's under enough stress. You don't want to add it with a, a high nitrogen product. That's why we added roots and shoots into the armyworm battle pack, which was seven days after application of roots and sh- uh, after a celeprin. So within seven days, you want to apply something like a roots and shoots or kelp-based product. And then once you start to see the lawn turn around and come back, then you can hit it with some fertilizer. So it's all going to be dependent on on the damage that was caused in the first place. Chris Crawford on YouTube. Hey, lads. Thanks for the feedback during the week. I just sprayed a combo of roots and shoots and money shot. How long should I wait to give the lawn a hit with three-way? Probably looking at least two weeks, at least. Yeah, there's enough nitrogen in, in uh, money shot and a little bit in roots and shoots to see you through for yeah at a minimum two weeks and i think it's important to we don't want to be um just just over fertilizing and i think that there are programs out there uh from other brands that are written through the lens of selling fertilizer not through the lens of offering a nice quality solution for the end user and so we, I know people that will put money shot out every two weeks. Yeah, yeah. Um, there is a risk there that you can start to impact your soil. Mm. And um, and like I discussed last week, I tried to push too much nitrogen and got, yeah, got a disease through my front lawn, so which I can't pronounce, anrachthos, anrachthus or something. I'm not the guy. Yeah. Do you think Josie can hear us? Josie. We need you to turn the air conditioner to a cooler setting at a high full ball. I am sweating. Otherwise, you'd, like it's bad enough they have to look at me, looking at me wet. Mm. That's what fat camp's for. 
Maybe we should set up a Patreon and then next time you go to Fat Camp, they can you can do like a live stream to the Patreons. Okay. Of me doing what, burpees? Yeah. Or burping? <laughs> Both. <laughs> <laughs> burpees followed by burping. Actually, the mate that I went to Fat Camp with had a good solution. He ate these mussels um, that gave him food poisoning. Oh, beautiful. And he was rest up for 30 or 35 hours, uh, had like a drip and, you know, all the all the bizzo. And when he came out, he had abs. So if that's not a, if that's not a dietitian's worst nightmare, not sure what is. Kira, were you just about to play the soundtrack to Hills Are Alive with the sound of music? <laughs> okay, cool. All right, we'll carry on with the questions. Brenovich on YouTube in Adelaide. I have an abundance of evaporative air conditioning runoff. Is this water all right for the lawn or not? It is it's something that. During the 2006 drought here in SA, mum and dad, they have a evaporative air conditioner system and we used to we used to collect it and put it out in the lawn. It was fine. So the water in an evaporative system, unless it's been uh, impacted by some other chemical, is just water. Yeah. Now, if, if you're doing the first, like I guess if it was winterized during winter and then they use some kind of chemical to keep... Uh, to clean it or something, you might find that you want to probably not put the first mm. lot through. But yeah, what Jonesy said. <laughs> I don't know where this comment's going. So Reedy's commented here. <laughs> um, so Reedy used to work for us and um, messaged me asking if he was eligible to win the ear- earbuds. Earbuds? AirPods? AirPods. Whatever. Hey, lads, I woman drop the level of lawn. Should I wait till after winter? I think he means I want to drop the level of the lawn. <laughs> you got woman on the mind, Reedy. Yeah, I, what's I, going on the there, Reedy? Thinking of. It has to be. Yeah. Yeah, it's still got plenty of time, Reedy. Still got plenty of time, especially here in SA, especially with Kike. Big Leaf Dropper 86 on YouTube. Coming into autumn slash winter. Give me the top two things to focus on slash do for or to keep lawn looking top notch. Easy. Premature. So that's a little bit lower in nitrogen, higher in potassium and higher in um, iron. So what it does is you apply it on the first week of autumn and then again just after Anzac Day, you would have built up enough sugars and carbohydrates in the root system ready to withstand the cold period that's coming and with the higher iron content it's going to hold greener so what we're finding is that usually in a, in a warm season grass the, the color change will be rapid with the use of premature it'll just slowly slowly curve off and it won't just dip real quickly the other thing as well is pre-emergence so you want to get a pre-emergent down to stop something like especially winter grass that's going to be the main the everyone's main problem um, throughout Australia and it's available in in, two, in a liquid and a granular. So you've got Barricade, which is one litre, Spartan, which is a 500 mil, and then Onset 10, which is five kilos. Is it fair to say it's easier to stop winter grass than to kill winter Absolutely. grass? Absolutely. Yep. So a pre-emergent yep. is more of a desired product than a post-emergent. Yep. Yep. And they're similar priced anyway, so it's not like, oh, I'll just I can get this because it's cheaper. It's... Yeah, the, the first time you use pre-emergent and I've had mates tell me like I can't believe I didn't do this sooner but that first time you use pre-emergent and you see how it works, changes your changes your life. Uh, John's just messaged us saying she's onto it now, men. And then Josie messaged saying all done. So I am starting to feel much more comfortable. Yeah. Thank you, Josie. I'm you are a legend. Getting a breeze up my up my pants. While we have your attention, Josie, do we have salt and vinegar chips here? That is just. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll continue on with my questions. Pra- Pratham on Instagram. I added a celeprin today. Got smashed with army worm overnight. We'll wait 24 hours before watering in. So you're saying add your roots and shoots Straight after, question mark. So seven, seven days after application. Just, it might be worth you just explaining the process of the Army Worm Battle Pack. Yeah. Um, I guess the, proce- the thought process that went into us creating it and then obviously 
uh, how people should be using it rather than them having to worry about because I wouldn't read the instructions. There's nothing new though. So the I'm a Worm Battle Pack has been put where's, together. Sorry, where's TikTok? Are you serious? What if they're in a stubby holder? All right. Can we please get TikTok Live sorted? I'm going to put a can in the stubby holder and then we'll just move the rest. So, Army Worm Battle Pack. Is, oh, is that going to work? It contains three products, a Celeprin GR, BBW and Roots and Shoots. So, Army Worm typically is located and does most of its damage on the top of the of the top of the saw so in the leaf canopy and the stolons and what it does is it eats away of the green material and the and the and the stolons and then there's nothing left and it it isn't uncommon to have literally damage overnight so the process is you apply celeprin gr and bbw at the same time Leave on the leaf for 24 hours because the celebrant needs to come in contact with the army worm. Typically, you'll start to see quick results within well within that 24-hour period of the army worm starting to suffer from the application of a celebrant. BBW is okay to leave on the leaf for 24 hours as well. It doesn't need to be watered in straight away to be activated. Then 24 hours after that application, you water it in with a normal irrigation cycle of about 11 mil. The reason why we've added BBW is because when you add the acelaprin and they water in together, you're going to get uniform coverage throughout the soil profile for six months. And then, as I touched on earlier, with roots and shoots, you'll have, you have that gradual um, improve because it only has a little bit of nitrogen in it, but it's got kelp in it, which is perfect for helping relieve stress. And then the added plant hormones are going to add with um, root and shoot development which is at that time at that time perfect for, for what we're trying to achieve here and army worm is running havoc across Australia at the moment so a bit unfortunate for a lot of people that are out there at the moment that are experiencing it but yeah as soon as you as soon as you get on as soon as you see it just yeah get straight into it because it's uh, it can absolutely destroy your lawn with it in under 24 hours what is wrong with this world this one that makes sense i didn't turn it on all right sorry guys i'm just trying to find this balance between being an alcoholic and grow a social media media following on tiktok we will be with you soon oh yeah make sure the can goes away don't reference yeah it, yeah, yeah. You're drinking lemonade now, son. All right, we got. It is here. lemonade. Yeah, it is lemonade. Okay, sorry about that. I promise next week we will be better prepared. I shouldn't make those promises. I was, I was literally going <laughs> to say, do not say that because you never know. Tell me what's not in shot. Okay, we need to move the um, the uh, paint tray. Hang on. Sorry, guys. All right. Uh, back to the show. That is some quality H2O. Hey, TikTok, you're live. Two, one. Welcome, TikTok. Sorry for the delay. We yes. had a few... Uh, technical difficulties. Technical difficulties, that's right. Um, just to recap for those of you that have just started tuning in, we are doing a bunch of giveaways this is probably going to get in trouble over there, but um, we're giving away some Apple AirPods over on YouTube. If you comment Worm on YouTube on this live, we will give away the AirPods to someone at random. And also we're giving away two spray packs. So we've got one for the best question on any platform Kira is going to choose. And the other will be if they you comment wet on the most recent post on our Facebook, which is a... Real. A real. Yeah. Of me. No. Yeah, talk, yeah, talking, talking about, about wet. We have a lot going on here. That's good. Dylan wants to be famous. Mm -hmm. This is Dylan, everyone. Hey, guys. All right, next question. Sorry, did you answer the Acelopin? Sure, smash? I did. Excuse me. 
Angus McGregor. I feel like Angus has been since the start. Yeah. Thanks, Angus. All he's, right. He's commented wet on the um, on the reel as well. So he's he's in. Uh, is he a top fan on Facebook? Not yet, but he is. Re- he is a good commenter. All right, Com- commenter. You're slurring your words. All right, all right. It's been a big week. Angus McGregor. You, Josie does like a 38 hour week, and his legs are all sore. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> all right, Angus McGregor on Facebook. How far off are we in weeks from applying Spartan in South Australia, gents? Easter time? Question mark. So I I said Easter time on a previous live and I've since looked at my notes and actually last year I applied it a bit earlier. So and Easter's always changing. So I want to can I retract that comment? Do whatever you want. Yeah, I'm going to retract That's the advantage that comment. Of not being a politician. Um because I've looked at my notes over the last few seasons and it's changed every time, but it's been around the Easter time. But for, I suppose, ease of remembrance, first day of autumn is also a good day to think of. So that will be next Friday. Would it be safe to say that you will email everyone? Oh, yeah. About yeah. it? Yeah. Whoops. I just touched the camera. That one. Uh, yeah. So I last week's weekly cut was about pre-emergence, yep. what they are. This week's... Weekly cut's going to be about pre-emergence and when to apply them okay. and how to get the most out of using them. Do you think you'll ever run out of things to talk about in the no. weekly cut? No. Okay. We're up to episode 98, Ooh. edition 98. I think we should give something away in the 100. Yep. What do you think? My first thought was 100 buckets of Trojan. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pallet of Trojan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that is that shipped very well. No, not the whole thing. Oh, that would be fun. Be like a we could be like Mr. Beast and just yeah. if you stay inside this circle for five hundred days, you get a bucket of Trojan. All right, uh, I'll carry on. The green and gold life. Hey, where the bloody hell have you boys been? I've been on the toilet since twelve, waiting for my live. I can't feel my legs. We will have to sign Dan up to the um, weekly cut subscription, so he, he could have got an email last night. Yeah. Okay. And if you're a subscriber of the Weekly Cut at edition 100, you will be eligible to win a crazy prize. So if you're not subscribed to that email list, do it yeah. now. And how to do it, you go to the website and do you still, yeah, you scroll down to the bottom and there's a prompt there and it says sign up to the Weekly Cut. Okay. I, remember, I remember when I first um, proposed the idea of the Weekly Cut and I got uh, told, oh, that won't last long. Um, Is it that me? Yeah. Sounds like something I'd yeah. say. Very similar, like surely you run out of things to talk about. Hmm. But and no one will read it. Yeah, no one will read it and it gets... <laughs> so we, we, use a, we use a software and it tells you your ratings based on other ones, other people's usage and ratings and we're, we're in the top. Yeah, but OF says that about everyone. I think they might just be lying to you. I think they earn a lot more money than what our weekly cut does, though. For being in the top 0.1%. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, you are right. Scroll down to the bottom. Sign up to email yep. or text offers. The text offers is not getting enough attention from me. I'm going to start doing some crazy things on the text offers, like hiding products online that are like worth $100 and selling them for 25 and things like that. So I just got to get around to it. I'm busy. All right. Uh, Aiden O'Brien on YouTube, currently using Plant Doctor products and... Hard one for you to answer with it. <laughs> Bring it on. Currently using Plant Doctor products, mm-hmm. about to run out of granular, mm-hmm. but have loads of liquids. Would I be fine to get and swap while using the other liquids? Yeah. Not as hard as I thought. When I first started yeah. reading that, I was like, ooh. Yeah, that's fine. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Do you remember Jared that used to work for us? Graphic design yeah, extraordinary. Yeah. How JP. did you pronounce his last name? Petit. Petit. All right, cool. So Gavin Petit <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> Does NSFW target nutgrass or should you use sledgehammer? 
Uh, it was written like that as well. Yeah. Uh, NSFW doesn't cover nutgrass, unfortunately. So just to elaborate on that and as to why it doesn't, uh, NSFW is not effective on grassy weeds. That's why it's safe for all grass varieties, including like the grass varieties that we want. Um, yeah, so nutgrass will need to be taken out by the active ingredient that's in, uh, is it sedge hammer? He wrote sledge. I think it's sedge, yeah. but I like sledge. Yeah. And I'm thinking if we had a product that took care of nutgrass, It'd I would like to call it D's Nuts. D's Nuts, yeah. Yeah. We do sell ones called Halo Force. It's pretty boring. L- it's not our product, though. Yep, fair. So. What is the reason for taking D's Nuts as well? Uh, to do what? Um, just so that everyone's fully aware, I'm not scared of Pornhub and I'm yeah. not scared of Mr. Beast. If he doesn't own the trademark for D's Nuts in Australia for fertilizers chemicals, then he can sit on it and spin. But thank you for letting us know. D's Nuts. That was not a uh, direct attack on you, just on him. What's he doing with D's Nuts? Makes chocolate bars. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The Beast Bars or whatever they're called. Feastables. Does anyone know what Mr. How have we just become a fucking Mr. Beast ad? This is bullshit. You know how much money that bloke's got? Do you know, we should not be wasting time. Do you know what his this. name is? <sighs> Jeff. I actually don't know what his name is. Doesn't matter. Jimmy. Is Jimmy. it? Nah, Mr. Beast. Jimmy's short for Jeff. All right. You ready? Mm-hmm. Cool. Josh Zietzen. Zeitz Zietzen. Z-E-I-T-Z-E-N. Zeitzen. Zeitzen. Yeah, I'm sorry, Josh. Um, on Facebook, after removing lots of thatch and doing a reno, is topsoil needed if still a lot of dirt is around? You don't need to top dress, no. If 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 you don't have time or you don't have the facilities or you don't have the room, you absolutely do not need to top dress. Top dressing is more of a if you want a level surface to be able to mow on, play on, but if it's like 85% there, 75% there, you don't need to top dress. I haven't top dressed at Dad's place for nearly two years out the back on the kite. Um, I haven't top dressed out the back at my place oh, before I even started at Lawn Hub. So that's nearly three. You haven't up. top dressed at my house ever. Yeah. So, Which well, is really selfish. Me? Yeah, I haven't. You haven't asked me to. Told. Told. Depends on what time of the day it is, right? Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, gosh. Reedy's got more questions. He, I think Reedy thinks that you win the headphones by asking questions. <laughs> Reedy, head over to YouTube and write worm in the live. Okay. Jack Ross on YouTube. Laid Tiff Tough mid-January. How soon can I dethatch or scarify to sprig my back on? Oh, Lawn Solutions are not going to like this. Um, also, how good is it that like, you can lay uh, Tiff Tough in January and it's ready to be dethatched? Yeah, I was going to say, like, the beauty of, of Tiff Tough is it establishes really quickly. So as soon as those roots are down, go for it. If you're going to core it and not physically lift the sod, mm. you're good to go. Yeah, yeah. So um, those of you that may remember, I dethatched the Tahoma 31 on day 11 back to dirt. That's on YouTube. So... As long as it's rooted down, it's good to go. Matt Reed on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> if a train was travel, no. If you were hydro seeding, yes. Would you install irrigation before or after? Hydro seeding before. Just like before you'd plant a lawn. Yeah. Yeah, obviously hydro seeding probably more so than a... Because they hydro seed on their sites. That's probably maybe he's asking for evidence as to why they need to do it. Because he's been arguing with the probably. His idiot boss. Yeah. I'll say it for you, Reedy. <laughs> uh, he's never said that to me. Guys, don't fire him. He didn't mm. ever say that. Mm. So the the only downside to irrigation, irrigating after that would obviously be germination would be challenging. But also because hydro seed is less likely to uh, grow across yeah. trenches, you're not going you're gonna to have to reseed yeah. your anyway, trenches. Yeah. Troy White from Earth. Security didn't say where the comment came from. Just dropped the ball. Greetings. <laughs> when is the best time of year to scarify the lawn and the and get the best recovery? Around like January, like when when summer's at its hottest. Well, it's been its hottest this season now for us. We haven't really had much warmer days. So um, I scarified both my front and back lawn down to dirt Friday last week. Yeah. And 
that's ready for a mo already. Yeah. So the reason why people do it in spring is so they have enough time and, and runway for it to look nice for Christmas. That's generally why people do it. I think that's one reason. I think another mm. reason is because there's a lot of people out there who just love lawn care and spring is the yeah. first opportunity they can get to just rip and yeah. go. And get back out in the back yeah. out in the yard. But if they're in America and Australia, they can have both. Mm. Blake Magrin on YouTube. Hey, guys, tuning in from New South fucking oh, Wales. Yeah. That's a thing now. <laughs> I'm calling it. That's a thing. <laughs> in the brackets, NSFW. Yeah. How do you guys keep your buffalo looking its best during winter? Should I? Should you hire your mower height? So should you raise your mower height? Should I keep? Should I keep using products as well? Yeah, of course you should. Mm. How do you think we pay for these podcasts? No, so yeah, so basically, Buffalo, New South Wales. Should I raise the height of my mower, and should I still be applying product? Look, the raising the height of a mower is a good debate, and the. Reasoning for that is because there's more leaf, there's more chlorophyll, there's more area for it to be okay. But the issue is once once buffalo or any tall grass gets frostburn, it, cut, it comes down the leaf. So you may as well cut it at your, For me, it's just leaving it at your normal height. Do the work beforehand, so getting your prem, uh, premature in, your liquid iron products to build that, that um, I sort of suppose, that bank in the root zone, in the stolons, in the rhizomes. So then when it gets cold, like I was talking about before, so that colour curve holds for a lot longer rather than just going dropping off there. Is it fair to say the better your lawn looks going into winter, the better your lawn's going to handle winter? Yeah, 100%. 110%. It's not a thing, Jonesy. It is. It is. The Gawler schools. So. um, Insulting. Would you be open to a debate on height of cut with someone who is a staunch raise your cut? Um, how's did you see how the, there was a comment on having a go at me about having a go at you about um, hating your teachers? Did you see that on YouTube? Oh, yeah. massive yeah, yeah, massive comment. Kira, Kira fought back as well. I haven't yeah. had a chance to respond yet because yeah. I have a bunch of shit more important to mm. do. Um, yeah, something about. But it did teach you to read and write. Yeah. It's your decision that you didn't choose to <laughs> was like, fucking the hut Hey, hey f- you random YouTube person. Yeah. It was a fucking joke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, calm down. And if you watched the whole thing, what I wanted to do got cut. Hmm. So. Uh, shitty editing. Yeah. Okay. No, no, no. That's really awkward. No, no, no. It was there. They didn't watch the whole movie. They didn't watch the whole thing. Uh. They're one of those people that go, oh, that shit. No, <laughs> you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> Society, eh? Mm. All right. Wow. Uh, I hope that answers your question, Blake. I Sorry, we digress. All right, and I would I'm yeah, hot again. I would I would happily have a debate with someone about because because golf courses don't cut their greens any higher. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be good. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> oh God. Is Reedy back? No, this is a random user on TikTok. I think it's the first TikTok question we've had. What are your thoughts on ligma as a fertilizer? <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> That's so good. Yeah. I like it. That could be a nut grass treatment as well. Ligma. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Let's write that down. <laughs> oh, TikTok user. Um, you are just known as user three five five three. There is a very good chance Kira's gonna choose you yeah. today for a prize. At the moment you are just a random person that we have no idea how to get in touch with you. So um I don't know. Ligma. I don't know what action you need to take, but just stay tuned. Yeah. Whew. Okay. Focus. Sam Derward. Du- du- Derward? I hate the fact that I fuck people's names up, and I know that your name is the most important thing in the world to you, and I'm so sorry. D-U-R-W-A-R-D. Derward. Derwood? Ward. Dylan Ward. Sam Derward. Derward. Cool. On YouTube. Hi, gents. I'm considering doing a rye over so in Brisbane this winter. I watched your videos at Clint's place and he warned everyone, if I do it, what products should I use to get it going? Rye is a very hungry lawn variety as well. Which is great if you own a fertilizer. Yeah, it is. But 
Does it say what he's overseeding over? No, it does not. Sam, if you are watching, can you please tell us what you are considering doing a riot over so in Brisbane this winter? Because you will want to spray it out because it just because gets... everyone does. Yeah, it just gets messy. Like I've, Clint's still fighting it at his house. I'm still fighting it at my I think house. I've, I think I've won. You it think, took a couple of years though. Yeah. Like it is, and trust me, the wow factor of a rice stripe is like nothing else. It's it's awesome. The wank factor, the street appeal, the the what do you Man say? Man cards. The, the father-in-law appeal. Like it's off its head. But depending on what lawn variety you over sow. Depends on the recovery too. So some people this season weren't seeing recovery until after Christmas. So that's something to consider. Because when you – and I have no science behind this, mm. but I genuinely believe that the rye impacted my tiff tough mm. and it's not – like it where rye was, tiff tough was struggling. Like it was, seemed like yeah. rye was a stronger grass or yeah. it was putting out a chemical like a – Yeah, it puts out endophytes. Yeah, anti-bonus for lawn. Yeah, sure. Hey, um, there's a comment here from someone called Clint's Vids on YouTube. Is that just another legend or have I got another channel I don't know about? <laughs> Been hacked. Well, their comment was lig my balls and a <laughs> laughing emoji. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, it could be me. <laughs> and Kira's just like stepped it up and she's commenting as me on things. Well... <laughs> Maybe it's Clint from another another dimension. He's made, oh, it, made his way here. We were, right. talk, we were talking about that yesterday, actually. Different dimensions and shit. Well, it, well I'm not going to go into this because <laughs> this is going to get... Yeah, okay. We can do a different podcast on that. Let's, we've got so many questions. Like, I'm. this is the most questions I've ever seen and I'm... Yeah, I'm still on um, fat camp time, so it's 4.16 at the moment, but it's only 2.47. All right, cool. It's going to say, fuck, it's 4.16. <laughs> Who's looking after the shop? Uh, well, what's his name? Kyle's there. What's his name? Um, yeah. Kyle's there. Clint's Vids, Ballarat Man. Oh, that's the dude that won the mower. Oh. Yeah. He is a legend. He is a legend. <laughs> Fed Jai all the beers. Yeah. Mm. I read somewhere Jai's a lightweight. All right, cool. There is some, actually, to be fair, there's a comment here saying... Something about Jai. I'd love to do a soapy water test with Jai. No, that's not one. What, is it? <laughs> what the fuck? Who's, who said that? No one has made it oh. up. Oh, there you go. Ah. That sounds a little bit more genuine. Well for done, those Jai. that didn't hear that, that, it said, thanks, Jai, for all your help with my lawn. All right. Brenton Scott on Facebook. Question time. Do you guys just buy bulk quantities of other products and put them in smaller packages and mark them up, make them more affordable? Effectively. Um, it's probably a little bit more nuanced than that. Uh, mm. We work with manufacturers of fertilizer that are sell in commercial spaces. So they would sell to agricultural growers worldwide, uh, sports turf, uh, golf courses. Um, we by no means manufacture the actual fertilizer ourselves. The whole idea behind the business was to be able to create small retail friendly packages. So most of the, the granulars are 200 square meters, which is actually at a high end of the recommended use yeah. uh, designed so that we're not falsely advertising and saying that you can get 300 when you can't really. Um, Yeah, I think that answers the question. The as as time goes by and as uh, the need arises, we'll be probably working on our own chemistry more. But the reality is, and anyone who tells you otherwise is full of shit. Most products are the same mm -hmm. or similar, and there's only like if you guys have ever well, obviously not Jonesy because of where he went to school, but there's the thing called the periodic table of elements. And so anyone that went to a school <laughs> that's not in Gaula uh, would have learned about the elements. There's only so many elements, right? And, you know, it's interesting. You'll get these fertilizer companies that are like, we've developed a new technology that um, we took like the 
fucking fluff off of butterfly wings and we put it around the fertilizer and it guarantees that it releases itself slowly exactly the same every day for 142.7 days and it will just give you some it's fucking bullshit there's only so much stuff on earth right and so the products that we sell are in all cases available as an identical chemical makeup in larger quantities external to lawn hub but the reality is a lot of people, and I'm going to say the majority of people, do not need a 1,000-litre shuttle of a wedding agent for their 40-square-metre courtyard. So, um, yeah. Yeah. It's really a long way of answering. Uh, the answer is yes. One of my favourite ones is when they go, was when chemical companies talk about that their chemical is better than the other chemical, but it's the exact same <laughs> Literally, chemical. the like, company that makes it for A makes it for B. Yeah. yeah, and, you know, so, yeah, just following on from Clint, like he was saying, there's only so much technology, but we've, when Clint was obviously selecting what he, what products he wanted to range, he's, if you're going to put it on a scale, he hasn't gone to the bottom. He's gone yeah, to the top. Point. He's the products that we've sourced are from the top. Yep. And we are not joking when we say these products are used on golf courses. These products are used on major sporting fields around Australia. Yep. That's the one hundred percent truth. Yep. And what, three of those four liquids are made here in South Australia? Yep. Um, so I, I actually think wet sometimes is made here in yeah. Adelaide. Yeah. Obviously being that wet is three or four different products, right? Yeah. That are all exactly the same. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> sorry for those of you in the fertilizer industry that have been um, benefiting from um, having a unique butterfly dust wing uh, application that does 142.7 days, but we've just ruined it for you. Carry on. There are, following on from that though, there are different qualities of nitrogen, phosphate and potassium. Like, like, one of the big comments that we see and we particularly see it on Instagram because you can hide behind an account on Instagram <laughs> is... Jones, he wants to fight you. <laughs> uh, just go to the local ag store and I'll get yeah. a bag of urea for 25 bucks. And I mean, Cool, but urea alone is not, gonna, is not sustainable. It, it's like a kid on sugar. It's okay for a little bit, but then afterwards it just crashes and burns and there's tears and there's... Fat camps. There's fat camps. Like there's... And it's just like when you go to the supermarket and you buy the dollar bread versus the five dollar bread. Like the five dollar bread tastes better than mm. the one dollar bread, but the one dollar bread will get you through. But there's no, to use the analogy further, there's no bread that costs twenty eight dollars that has a product that doesn't exist on Earth. That's right. Like a new fucking Martian acai mm. berry that makes yeah. the bread like a slimming bread, even though it's full of carbohydrates. Like yep. it's just there's only so much that exists on Earth. We've gone and yep. enough about that. All right, cool. Uh, 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 David Giddens on YouTube. Have you guys ever thought about doing video instructions for all your products for most of us who don't read the instructions? Yes, David, that is a gorgeous question. Um, yeah, you can. Yeah, answer. well, I mean, it's it's Clint wanted the podcast studio for things like this and his podcast. The other reason for the podcast studio is to do tutorial informational videos which we we t started on the weed and feed pack last week so now uh, that's out now so for some reason i look incredibly sad in the beginning of the video i have no idea why i must have been drained from the from the filming beforehand the 45 but, hour week you did or 43 hour week but <laughs> um but yeah so we do plan and and not that it's probably any importance but these tables are on what are they? They're a stand-up workstation yeah. designed for the new age worker yeah. who requires flexibility around their ergonomics. Anyway, we can, um, yeah, work at different heights, show the products and all that. So, yes, the answer is yes and it is We should have done it sooner. We should have. <laughs> I did a video yesterday on one of our products, which is a pressure versus flow test kit for uh, Lawn, uh, Lawn uh, Water Pro because we've got a training session on Monday that I wanted it for, but it's really... Um, We've got all the resources. I mean, there's three cameras on us now with, and a phone. Um, we've got all of the hardware now to be able to do mm. that kind of work. There's literally no excuse anymore. And it's just time now. Mm. And the reality is we've got two full-time media staff, <coughs> excuse me, who are working 
like who are behind. So we try to do as much as we can and we're using um, different technologies to try and improve how fast we can do things. Obviously, AI, AI has come into play. It's probably not where it needs to be. Um, but you will see a lot more of those videos sooner. You guys did a calibration video or did that not happen? Yeah. Yep. Is that up or it just needs to be edit- edited? So that's another one. It's not just so much on how to use our products, but just how to like general mm. um, lawn practices. And what the one advantage we've got, Josie, it's really hot in here still. Um, the one advantage that we've got uh, over a lot of other people is the amount of engagement that we have on social would be probably higher than any other oh. lawn care company in Tenfold. the country. Tenfold. And so we get to see the trends nationwide before they occur and we get to see the needs and the wants of the end user before they come up. And we got, we had a lot of questions about calibration. And so not only does making the video help you, but it actually helps us because we're responding with the same copy all the time going, do this, do this, do this, do this. Whereas if we can have a link to a video, we can just send you the video and then obviously we've answered that question. All right. We are getting more questions than we are answering So we need to get moving. Joel Bennett on YouTube. Any recommendations on dropping soil pH? I'm currently sitting at 8 to 8.5. Yikes. That's quite high. That is very high. Um, Just get a 20 litre drum of hydrochloric acid and tip it over your lawn. Yeah, well, that's what you did, wasn't it? Well, that'll reduce your pH. Yeah. I don't... Is there any caveats about not killing your lawn in the process? Um, Yeah, I'd like... What was the source of the soil pH test? Because that that can also differ as well. Are you referring to the off the shelf mix your dirt and squeezy juices? Yeah. Maybe not as accurate as sending it in for a proper lab report. Probably. Yeah. Okay. While we're waiting for Joel to tell us that, we'll go back to the ryegrass question. Kira did punch something through before saying it was winter grass. I think. Sorry, winter green. Why would you call it winter green? Um, yeah, winter green. So it's a cooch. Yeah. So it's a cooch. So yeah, there's many of there's many of spray options. So. Yeah, just the the practice of overseeding, and I've tried it two different times. So one where I've scalped a dirt, laid the seed, top dressed, rolled it, rolled it, raked it, whatever, watered, fertilised, awesome. The other option and the recovery on that after I sprayed it out was very long because you've basically gotten rid of all the cooch. The rye takes over. It's a clumping stole. Um, uh grass type so by the time it comes to warmer weather and you're ready to spray the rye out it takes a long time for the cooch to come back the other way that i did it which was the last time i did it was mow it on a lower setting scarify deep to get some real (laughs) grooves in it and then drop the seed in top dress and water and all that sort of stuff and i actually found that a lot more cooch stayed with the ryegrass stayed up with it because i was using a lot of foliar during uh winter the recovery time on that after i sprayed it out was very was very short compared to the the previous year so what i would suggest if it's your first time is just cut on a lower setting and get some deep scarifyings in there and drop the seed through that top dress and water it won't be 100 percent rye like a true rye overseed but you're still going to get the other end of the season when it's summer. You're going to get a quicker result with recovery because, yeah, ryegrass will choke out the cooch. Not eventually, but in the time that you want the cooch to wake up and take over, the rye is going to be thriving in those conditions outside of winter. Hope that answers the question. Come this way a bit. Bring the mic with you. You're out of shot. Oh. Not too crazy. Not crazy. Back to where you were. That's, That's exactly literally where, you were. where I was sitting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where was I? Just had a really good comment. Here we go. David on YouTube said the results of your products proves that it is top quality. That's right, David. You're a legend. And the reality is if we did sell shit, it wouldn't work. Or if it was over-diluted, which can happen, or if it was over uh, under-recommended from a square meterage application. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, I saw an irrigation question that I really wanted to answer because obviously you get all the light and I feel left out. Where did it go? Uh, Fuck. 
Sorry, kids. <laughs> Here we go. Justin Wood on Facebook. Hey, guys, for us plebs, I'm guessing he's writing in from Gawler, that don't have any fancying watering systems, is there a way of no- knowing if I've watered the product in enough? Yes, there is. So uh, irrigation systems obviously distribute water evenly through sprinklers. Uh, what they're doing is really just applying a certain amount of water over a certain amount of time, which you can work out at home very simply. All you would need to do is work out how many square metres you are applying the watering to and then work out how much water comes out of your tap in in any one minute. So uh, I would encourage you to probably, if you're going to use the garden hose to water, turn your tap on full and then time how long it takes to fill up a bucket or or a container. And so you might find that for the ease of maths, you fill up... Uh, a 10 litre bucket in five seconds and so you've got 30 litres a minute coming out of your garden hose um, if you've got 30 litres a minute coming out of your garden hose that would mean that every square metre that you put that hose on for every minute gets 30 mil of water obviously products like wet would what be 10 or 11 mil of water so you would need to then calculate and we probably need to actually do a video on this because this is a pretty detailed question but if you had 100 square metres and you wanted to get 11 mil, you need to put out 1,100 litres of water over that 100 square metres to get 11 mil. You would get that 1,100 and divide it by 30, which is the number of litres per minute that are coming out of your tap. And the answer as a number will be how many minutes you need to water your lawn for using that hose, provided the amount of water that comes out of the hose doesn't change because if someone's having a shower now or something's changed. So what is 1,100 divided by 30, like 35? Say so it's about 35. So you would need to probably stand there for 35 to 37 minutes at 30 litres a minute on 100 square metres and attempt to evenly apply uh, the water across that area. 36.66. Not too bad, That's boss. Pretty good. All right, let's continue on. We better go back up to the top because I have been... We actually, do you want to go over to Instagram and do some questions there? Because I think there's a bunch there. 85 live viewers. Thanks, deal. Is that good? That's really is that good. better than, like, as in this is we are now Logan and Jake Paul, and we can start fighting people. We are number thirteen on Home Garden Cup of Australia at the podcast this week. Catching up. Are we going to smash Joel? Tell me we're going to smash Joel. Charlie Albone. <laughs> we're going to get him coming after you, Charlie. That was not code either. There is a question here. What? From Freeman Landscaping. God. This will be good. When do you think you will reply to my text message? <laughs> I reply to all important text messages. What did he send me? <laughs> Actually, this is probably worth me just saying so that we can use this in some capacity. I do not enjoy email and somewhat texts. And WhatsApps, I like communicating via audio and so sometimes I won't respond because I process the answer in my head and everyone's done this and then I go, "Eh, mm, eh, mm, I'm going to think about it, I'll come back to you. Like when someone asks you for something, like I regularly get asked for stuff now, like, hey, um, my dog's lost three of its legs and can you give me money? And so rather than saying no... I like think about a better way to say no and I probably should just say no. So I will find Tyler's message now and just send him back no. Does that answer the question? Yep. What did he ask me? Oh, he sent me three texts. On the 7th of Feb. What's today? The 23rd. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, hang on. That's right. He said in the next few weeks. So I've got five days left. Mm. I'll respond in five days. All right, cool. Uh, any other, yeah, <laughs> is there any other Instagram questions? Yeah, there's a few actually. Do you want me to ask you? Are there questions you Well, need this answer? one's a good question uh, from Tady47. Would you rather eat a cake in one go or a cake over seven days? Will the cake stay fresh for the seven days? For the purpose of this question, yeah. Seven days. Yeah? Fuck yeah. I'm a fat fuck. A off. whole cake? Yeah, I'd eat it all in one sitting. I can eat an ice cream cake in one sitting. Yeah, that's different. That's not cake. Deal? I mean, there seems to be no negative. Yeah, I think it's great. Think negative, it's a big, it's a lot of cake. Yeah, the negative should just be that it goes up. Then you would eat it all at once. Yeah. No, I probably wouldn't. I'd eat a third of it and then a third of it and then a third of it. 
and fuck your question up. Kira? <sighs> you fat piece of shit. <laughs> um, was it Ozempic? I don't know what that means. That's that diabetes drug they used to get skinny. No. Nah. No? Nah? All right. So uh, just to reiterate for those that have jumped on the live recently, we're giving away a set of Apple AirPods that are very popular with the youth these days and graphic designers and people that work in digital media. All you need to do is go over to our YouTube live. You might be watching this somewhere else and comment worm, W-O-R-M, and we will choose one of you at random using a random comment picket if we can before the end of the live to send them to you. We'll post them to you free of charge. We're also giving away a spray pack for the best question all up, which Kira's yep. going to choose. Kira is a faceless human behind the screen, so you can't be mean to her. And I don't feel guilty for not giving it to someone that wants it. And three, we're giving away another spray pack on Facebook. So if you go over to Facebook and find our most recent post, which is a reel of me talking about wet and comment wet, you will be in the draw and we'll give them away before the end. Uh, a reminder that we've got the Lawn Hub Army Worm Battle Pack currently available for people that are struggling with Army Worm. And if you are a subscriber of the Weekly Cut, you would have had a 15% discount code sent through to you on email last night. And if you are not, then you are missing out. Next question. I'll ask you because you're the brains on the looks. While you're looking, Reedy's asked for a 12 or 24 month plan for the hub. So, what? Reedy's asked, I'm assuming a 12 month, 24 month plan for oh, the hub. Okay. So, <clears throat> my lawn care 12 month program is almost finished. And, yeah, it's almost finished, which will be free. I'm not going to charge you to bloody use it. I think that's an absolute criminal act, isn't it, Dylan? Yes. We talk about this. It's, it's anyway. Well, to be fair, the world's changing. Some people were required to sell information. The information has become commoditized and you can no longer sell information. So I think the world's changed. Sorry, just to protect those that make money from selling information. There is a um, question here from Jake Patching, which we can get into today or we can make it a topic. Uh, easy one. Who come up with the name Lawn Hub? Bloody genius. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. That was a genius, genius move. Uh, that was me. So um, back in five, six years ago, what year are we in now? 2024. So 2018? 2018, yeah. This is before all the spicy, spice older. I won't say the word because we're probably getting ripped down from somewhere. Uh, I was working uh, with another lawn care company to try and help them grow their brand because the owner had identified that his business acumen probably wasn't where it needed to be. Um, that uh, was proven when he took a massive shit on me business-wise, not physically. And so I decided to start my own lawn care brand. Um, obviously, I enjoy puns and... Uh, comedy and taking the piss so i was shocked to find that lawn hub the dot com dot au was available the domain uh, the the socials weren't so we ended up going with at the lawn hub uh we've since bought lawn hub.com as well um and so i just started it and then i just um we had like lawn hub envy which was because i was like oh you like them apples you know have you seen the movie with matt damon goodwill hunting all right just quickly. So anyway, he's in a bar. This chick was getting hit on by a dude. Dude was a fuckhead. He steps in. She's like, oh, I like you. Here's my number. As he's leaving, sees the dude and he's like banging on the window. You might want to cut this in. On the <laughs> oh, you can't cut this in on the live. And he's like, do you like apples? And he's yelling through the oh, window. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's no, like, what? He's like, do you yeah. like apples? He's like, what the fuck? And he's like, yeah, I like apples. And he's like, I got her number. <laughs> you yeah. like them apples. So Envy was yes. very much like that. Like... You're going to be jealous, but it also creates a green lawn. But then yeah. obviously it didn't work with the play on words and then Envy became money shot. So um, Envy would have been this kind of like lone wolf that didn't fit the the team names. Um, and then obviously I had a, well, this is the story that I'll tell. I had a graphic designer who designed the logo with no knowledge of any other brands worldwide that had a logo that looked like ours. And so we 
found ourselves in a situation where there was another company uh, based in America who specialized in porn and they took issue with the fact that our logo looked like their logo. It went to court. Uh, well, it didn't end up going to court. It went to a tribunal where we were awarded the trademark for the logo here in Australia um, in the category that we operate in, which they don't. And so now the rest is history, I guess. And that is the story of Lawn Hub. And there is a hidden, not a message, but there is a hidden word on the Lawn Hub website if if you're trying to figure out who Clint was working with, there is a hidden word on the web, <laughs> on the website. Is there? Yes. I like it. If you find it and you think you found it, screenshot it and email it to me at adam at and I'll send you something. First right email gets a prize. Yep. I love giving away shit. Yeah. We, what are we going to give away for the 100th email? Oh, it's got to be good. We haven't given away a lawnmower for a while. We've got uh, a bush ranger with a slightly snapped cable. <laughs> That that snapped on your first poll as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. So I'll go to, I'll go to the Instagram and then start asking you questions because what time do you finish work? Deal. Oh, whenever the oh yeah. yeah. Good answer. <laughs> oh, the boss is here. That's better. the live answer. <laughs> I love it. Uh, there is a question there about um, soil tests. Oh. So. Yeah, what are you doing about yeah, that? Yeah, so it's, it's finished. This is like the guy's so no, fatigued from working these no, full-time no, no, weeks and he hasn't done anything. I, I told, I said last time, I want to make sure it's perfect for you guys. So it's finished. So it's, it's we've paid for it. It's all done. It's all set up. It's, it's done. Just need to display it on the website. And then that part of it's done. And then we sort of need to work out because... Uh, because we, we need to charge shipping on it and I need, well, I need to speak to Each you. Each way. Well, I was going to charge shipping. And then they send it back. And then we send them the label to the factory. Yeah. And then we get the results. So they'll send it direct with a prepackaged, because it would be small, right? Uh, you need about 500 grams. Which would be satcheled from anywhere in Australia, no worries. Yeah. It would fit in, one, in a satchel. Yeah. Well, well, so th- this, lo- logistically, this works in my head, knowing what I know with Lawn Hub. So you'll get a packing slip with a label for Australia Post Toll. You get your sample, you put it in a fucking envelope or whatever, you put this label on it and you drop it in the post box. It's a satchel. Yeah, whatever. (laughs) Boom. But unless you want to wait, we can send a satchel out to you. Otherwise, you go and do it yourself with the label, which is already prepaid Uh, by us. Okay, we can talk about this afterwards. So the answer to the question is... It's really close. Yeah. We just want to make sure it's as fast as possible, yeah. as cheap as, as possible, yeah. and as good as possible. As smooth as possible. Smooth. The right. operator. Uh, Corinne Harvey Phillips on YouTube. Hey, guys, I'm having trouble with grey leaf spot and sprayed some Clawton cl- yep. on my buffalo lawn. What would you recommend treating it with from your range after and what time frame? Thanks. Not that I'm dissing on Clawton. Oh, that, that's a good. That's like that, I don't want to be rude, but you're a yeah. That product. Um, I've had a lot of people have mixed rev- mixed results with it. Mixed being all shit because that's not mixed. That's just shit. No, some people have had good okay, results. So genuinely mixed. Yeah, because and, and I know this. You know this. You can't use two um, fungicides back to back. Usually, unless it's dis- as in two different ones. No, no, no. So, like, just say you're dre- you're treating grey leaf spot as Corinne is. Yep. Good memory. I can't remember the exact application rate of Clawton, however you say it, but it may be three applications in a twenty-one day period. Right? They recommend you do back to back to back, so you shouldn't be. She shouldn't change. Yes, but I can't remember right now. But if it is three days, uh, three applications in twenty-one days. And it doesn't work. You then can't do another application of Clawton. You need to use a different fungicide because it can build resi- the disease can build resistance. So, Corinne, if you're still there, I, I often because we don't sell it because of the mixed reviews and mixed results people have had. I know, I know it does work, but if you can just let me know how many times you've ap- you've applied it, the results that you're seeing, or if it's if you're seeing only a marginal result um, or you're not seeing anything at all, just try and include as much detail as possible. Um, otherwise, there's a product on our website called... 
Got a thinking music uh, button there, Dylan. Dun, dun, dun. Let me, I don't want to. I don't want to say the wrong thing, because there's for that reason. There's two. There's three. Yeah, three. Yeah, that's good. I'm just one of the pokies. So, Kira, are you monitoring TikTok? Yeah. Cool, because I can't. I can't get it on my phone. Uh, we'll work out why later. I've got the lawn hub TikTok, but I can't watch myself live. Uh, all right, let's keep going through with the questions. Heritage Max is the product that I was talking about. I just want to double check. Yeah. Oh, this is a There's good one. There's oxystropin. <sighs> Thanks, Kira. Uh, so, Jaden Sankey on YouTube, what are the odds of developing an app for lawn care with your products? or even similar, when to apply, how much, depending on the lawn area, what type of lawn, something that takes into account local weather, etc. So I have a little bit of experience. Yeah, in I was going to say, you've got more app development. And while you talk about that, I'm going to go to the toilet. All right. So I developed an app called Dirt Cart, which would probably be better off being called uber dirt if you were allowed to use that name and i was already in a trademark dispute at the time so my lawyer advised me not to try going up against uber um and we spent about one hundred and seventy thousand dollars here in australia developing an app that we effectively haven't done anything with and we don't use and it's because there is a it's quite a, a lot involved in building an app i would say that there needs to be a commercial there needs to be a, a strong commercial case for us building an app and I'm just going to be very honest because we always are honest. The advantage of us having an app would be that if it was kind of exclusive to Lawn Hub and that we could do push notifications through the app and sell you more stuff through it, then it would make sense. Um, I also don't want to get too selly. So I, I very much want this to be a uh, – we help you find the products that you – want because you're looking for a result and rather than us going keep buying this keep buying this keep buying this um i would say an app like that if we were to build it really well which had and i'm not even going to tell you what i'd put in it because other people might be watching that are going to do it and i don't want to give them any ideas but i've thought about this at length i would think that it would cost today's money 250 to three hundred thousand dollars to build an app like that and we would, there would have to be a commercial case, and not always commercial, because I'm I'm a business owner that makes decisions based on gut and emotion more than uh, you know financial return on investment. But for three hundred thousand dollars, like we could get our own, uh, we could buy a lot more hardware here to improve the efficiency and safety around the way we currently do business. That would probably be a smarter purchase than putting three hundred thousand dollars into an app. I get that it would benefit you guys greatly, and there might be some middle ground that we can take around website stuff where we just have better assets for you to have calculators and stuff online. There's a big difference between a web app and an app. Um, and I just think that unless our US expansion goes better than expected, we probably would be as much as three to five years away from um, being in a financial position to be able to develop an app like that, which is something that I'd love to do provided we could afford to do it. All right. Green and Gold Life on YouTube. What's your What's your thoughts on robot mowers, aka Job Thief Two Thousand? I'll let you go first. Why? Whilst I have absolutely no experience with them, I think that they'd be a great thing, especially people that are time poor. Um, I think his argument is people that are time poor are generally not financially poor and they could pay a human to mow their yeah. lawn. But when you went away with Grunfoss, they had yeah. robot mowers. Everywhere, yeah. yeah. And, yeah, they just popped out and did their thing and then mm. went back into their little hidey hole. I don't think they're, a, they're an answer for not having to mow your lawn. I think there's still requirements for some human interaction. Obviously, the, the uh, scarification, coring and that kind of thing yeah. is separate to that. Look, my thoughts are... Um, as with Netflix to Blockbuster and Uber to cab drivers, it doesn't really matter what I think or what Jonesy thinks about robot mowers. They exist and as AI and the accuracy of GPS and technology and battery life, etc., improves, they are going to get better and better and better. And so if you are someone that mows lawns for a living and I know that there is one person in New South Wales who has made an active 
uh, push towards selling and servicing these. If you are someone that makes your money from mowing lawns and you are planning on working longer than another five to ten years, I would strongly suggest you find a way to drive income from the supply or service of these mowers or be prepared to reskill as they become more cost effective because they will and better quality. All right. I better go back up to the top. Far out, Kira. There's so many questions. Matt Worth on Facebook. Hey, guys, how long should I wait between Spain? But fuck. I'll start again. <laughs> Matt Worth on Facebook. Hey, guys, how long should I wait between spraying roots and shoots and three-way? Cheers. Uh, minimum two weeks. But you can uh, you can wait till, till four, four weeks. Nicholas... Rufus, first time use PGR and have had way too many weeds come through on Buffalo. Hit with NSFW. What other product do you recommend while I wait to help recovery of the lawn? It's interesting. It is interesting. As in he received damage. He said damage. first time I use PG, uh, it, The grammar's not perfect, so I'm kind of interpreting, but first time used PGR and have had too many weeds come through on Buffalo. Hit with NSFW. What other product do you recommend while I wait to help recovery of lawn? In, yeah. Yeah. I was talking to Johnny this morning at the barbecue and he was saying that um, – I was talking about the the uh, pack that we've released and he goes, I would be talking to people about putting out PGRs with herbicides at the same time because yeah. he said that's what we do. Yeah. This is a large uh, turf business um, and you kind of kill two birds with one stone. So, yeah, I, it's a hard question to answer. PGR yeah. shouldn't in, in, should not bring weeds through, right? No, what – what caused the damage in the first place? That's yeah. So yeah. if you can follow that up, Nicholas, sorry. Um, a, a, a kind of a shitty answer without knowing the full question is what product do you recommend while I wait for recovery of lawn? Water, roots and shoots. Roots and shoots, yeah. Paul Fram on YouTube, I would like to turn my front yard from weeds and shit grass. Can you guys do a shit to fab lawn series and on a budget? Yes, we can. If you live within... Seven minutes drive of Cavan or Dry Creek, we'll do it for you for free. Um, if not, uh, and you're happy to document it and work with us, we might be able to support you on that. Vem GM on YouTube, snails, how do you deal with them? Jonesy eats them. Yeah, I usually just eat them, cook them in the barbie, feed some to the dog. No, I don't do that. It's a joke. <laughs> do not do that. Um... Look, snails depend. To say what size the snails are, like, yeah, thirteen point four mil. Like the big snails or the little snails. <laughs> it just says snails, dude. Look, snails. You, <laughs> I'm going to the toilet. You, with snails, it can be tricky because if you've got pets and kids, there's obviously products you don't want to use. If what? nothing, it just came through my headphones. I'm going to the toilet. I need mm. more lemonade. Um. If if they're in the lawn causing dramas, I would look at as to maybe some of the reasons as why they're there. So some some of the reasons why snails will be about is because of moisture. So if there's excess moisture, maybe watering too much. If it's just an area of the garden where the snails are, then maybe it's it's not too bad. Um, but something as simple as and I've, I've read about it uh, just doing a salt barrier. So table salt from the supermarket which you can get two or three kilos for a couple of bucks i don't know with inflation these days i don't work in the supermarket anymore but you could do a salt barrier around it snails hate salt um it, it does damage to their flesh um so yeah if if they're the really small snails and there's thousands of them throughout the lawn i'd look at something like uh containing bifenthrin which is like five star um, five star or bifenthrin is, is really good at, at tackling pests within the lawn and around the house and the garden quick tip about bifenthrin and five star is when mixed correctly you can use it as a barrier around your house rather than buying that pre-made spray kit keep that in the in the memory bank now while clint's gone to the toilet i'll go back to instagram questions that came through on the um, story that Clint did last night. So Tay Evans asked, roots and shoots application, best irrigated straight after or to dry on the leaf? 
So for me, roots and shoots for me is always a irrigation cycle uh, straight afterwards unless I am doing something like a renovation and I've just got some green leaf, uh, green leaf coming up, then I'll do a foliar application of roots and shoots. But typically for me, it's, I mix it with wet and I water it in straight away. But it all comes down to the situation. If you don't have time to water roots in afterwards, that's fine. You can just leave it on the leaf to dry. But for me, I like to water it in with wet. Uh, 85 Dan Bar. <coughs> How do I stop slash reduce my Sir Wally from going to seed and staying at seed? So we touched on this last week, but typically seed head comes up for, for a few things, stress, change of weather, nutrient deficiency. Um, so you could look at fertilising more if, if, it's a, if it's a nutrient deficiency. Stress something like the weather it's been really hot like we've had high 30s and today's 29 and it's going to get cold overnight that'll trigger seed head or you could use a a pgr program like plant growth regulator so primo max that'll that'll help suppress it but it won't get rid of it completely pardon me but yes the any of those any of those recommendations will definitely help with seed head Got a quickle, a quickle, a quickle. <laughs> I got a quick few from TikTok just because we've got uh, an interest in expanding that following. So, case on TikTok, my cricket oval gets rings of mushrooms. Any way to get rid of these? Mm -hmm. So, rings of mushroom is fairy ring. So, could tip, be, could tip, be, would be most likely. Tip, is. If, yeah, typically, if they if it's a ring of mushrooms, like literally like a ring. It's called fairy ring, which is a disease. It's a soil-borne disease from memory. There are uh, um, fungicides you can use to get rid of it, but once it's in the soil, it's and I mean it is incredibly hard to get rid of. So um, the, there's a product called Impala that's registered to control um, fairy ring, but like I said, Unless you get onto it real early, um, when we did the cricket pitch seminar um, with – no, we went with the Oz LF guys to Adelaide Oval. They had fairy ring in the practice wickets at the time and, yeah, Hoffy said it, they'd been dealing with it for, what, four or five years? And if they can't get rid of it, yeah. so you might not be able to get rid of yeah. it. If, if, the mush, if, if the mushrooms rings are in the green part and it's staying green and it's been green for a few years – you'll be fine. It's just when it starts to die out in the middle, that's when fairy ring becomes a real issue. But, yeah, once it's in the soil, very, very difficult to control. And get there is of. also a case that there'll be – there's mushrooms growing in people's lawns that's got nothing to do with Correct, fairy. yeah. And, and the reason why I thought it may be fairy it says ring – cricket oval, so. And, and, and he said in a ring. He said – Case, could be a she. Yeah, or she, sorry, I apologise. But, yeah, but if you have random spots of mushrooms pop up in your lawn, that's fine. Yeah, that that's that's fine. That's don't just eat them. yeah. Don't eat them. Don't eat them. Otherwise, you end up on the news. And don't make food for friends. Yeah, Josh Beef Wellington Woolridge on TikTok. My back lawn is lumpy as fuck. What is the best order to level scalp, scarify, fertilize, etc.? I think he just did the order. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe not. Yeah. Scalp. So he said level scalp, scarify, yeah. fertilizers, etc. Yeah. Scalp, scarify, level, fertilize, water. Ooh. Ooh. Dylan just sent me through a, a screenshot saying, hey, Legends, any discount codes about? Yes, there are. Is that, do I need to expand on that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. If he's watching right now, let's see what we've got available. Is there a certain product? Nah, to, oh. I think he's just looking, looking to save some money, you know, yeah. rising cost of living. Yep. Lawn Hub to save the day. Do we have any discount codes that are currently? Because I'm going to say it once on the live. I'll make one right now. Tell you what, I'll make one right now. Um, I'm going to ask Jonesy a question. I'll make a live discount code. Oh, I'll keep going on the Instagram. You keep doing that. I'll yeah. make a discount code and then I will delete it tomorrow when I remember. How um, much discount do you want? Where is he? Is he listening? Uh, <laughs> Green and cold life. How does Jonesy know all this stuff? <laughs> 
I'm not going to say. Yeah, because I went to Gawler, so apparently I have no bloody education. <laughs> Jones is self-educated. I am self-educated. I Gawler Library. No, definitely not the fucking Gawler Library. No, I um, that's a good question, Dan, actually, because um, and as we discussed last week and as I discussed with Clint, like the, the TAFE course I wanted to do that got cut, that didn't then mean that I stopped wanting to learn. I, I still went out um, and I, I, although I'm not the <laughs> greatest at reading, but I did read a lot of case studies, a lot of university studies over in the States. Um, I would literally um, see a word, something like fairy ring and go, oh, what's fairy ring? And I'd then have an unhealthy obsession of learning about something like fairy ring. I'm a bit disappointed that I can't remember if it's a soil-borne disease or not. I can't. If someone's in the comment section below, can you just let me know if I'm right or wrong? <laughs> That'd be great. Just test my memory because I've got a very bad memory. Uh, Matt, what do you want me to use as the word that triggers the discount? Come up with something that's easy for people to remember. I was going to just use Matt. What? And funny. And funny. Well, Matt, mm. Um, I got one here from Chatty994. Best product to make roots both heal and grow deeper quickly. Lawn competition, 14 days. Cool season. Lawn competition? Yeah, he's got lawn comp in, in 14 days and he wants the best product to make his roots both heal and grow deeper quickly. <laughs> Do we have to say it? Wet and roots and shoots. Silverback. All right, Silverback. Um, Discount code, what percentage? 14.69. Mick Billings, is it too late oh, in the year? Off. Shopify won't let me do a decimal place in a discount code. <sighs> 15%. Uh, Mick Billings. Oh, I have to make it not come off of all the agency products, don't I? Yeah. If you, du if you, if you duplicate the ones at the top, all right. our main ones, yep. and then change the code. Yep. And then change the discount. Yep. All right. Look, Mum, I know how to do stuff. Um, 15. Mick Billings, is it too late in the year to scarify and dethatch my lawn? Absolutely not. Go for it. Still got plenty of time. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep this question for you, Clint. How do you duplicate them? Open them up and duplicate them. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait for you to wait for your full con concentration. I can probably do both. Oh, Silverback starts now, ends in yeah. six hours. So if you want to use that code, my friend, go for it. It's time. No, to pack use it, it on Monday. Now, I hope so. Mm. All right. All right. I've got a question for you, Clint. Silverback, all one word S I L V E R B A C K. Silverback. Jason Kramer. Crema Designs from Instagram. What tips would you have for newbie cylinder mower users? <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say use the cylinder mower on a small inconspicuous batch of lawn. <laughs> <laughs> no, look, um, I, so probably the main things, as much as it pains me to say this, skim the instructions and make sure that you understand what you're doing. Uh, be safe. So um, what's the saying? Hmm? Never stick your finger anywhere you wouldn't stick your dick. Yep. Um, be aware that – can that um, TikTok view see under the tables? Just stand in front of it. Dylan's just got to fix the TikTok. We're still here. Um, so the um, – Start with your cylinder mower, start high and work your way down. So one of the traps I had was uh, I would mow the lawn and I was like, oh, it doesn't look right. And I'd keep lowering it and I was basically scarifying my lawn every time I mowed it and I never had green lawn. Uh, <laughs> don't put petrol in your mower while your mower is on the lawn, which could be a good thing for any petrol device. Oh, I got a rose. Oh, we got a gift. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know what that means. You can, you can send gifts. So. We get money for that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I would pair 
your cylinder mower with a pair of rotary scissors. Uh, they are one of my favorite things to use. And get your rotary, sorry, get your cylinder mower regularly serviced, sharpened, and adjusted if you don't know how to do it yourself. Uh, because as with all things, you can't just buy them and ignore them. It is recommended that you look after them. Next question. And take your time. You're not you're not gonna learn it in one pass. Yeah. Um that one, that one. Oh, and there's just one more from the responses from the story. When a product says use 200 to 500 mil of liquid per 100 square metres, how much should you use? 500. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a real so – it all depends on what you're trying to achieve. So, for example, Money Shot is, is I think, those, those um, numbers? Applica um, application numbers, yeah. So if you're just looking for a mild green up, then you go on the lower rate. But if you're looking for a rapid green up, you go on the higher rate. But you sort of use that analogy or working out for everything. Like for a wedding agent, if you have real hydrophobic soil, go at the higher rate. If it's just a top up because you applied it four weeks ago, for example, just go on the lower rate. So that's basically what that means. And but being able to do that means that you have a, a greater – use for the product rather than being you can only use this product when the lawn looks like this or this or that so it's just expanding the use of the product so you're not so you're getting more value for money uh kira or dylan i can't see any comments on the youtube live is that because there isn't any or they i just can't see them Ah, uh, so how do they enter the prize to win the... Oh, it's on the side there. All right, so how can I... Okay, so that's in an order. I'll need to count how many worms there are, do a random number generator and just count down from the top. That's probably the best way to do it. All right, that's right. So just a reminder that we're giving away some Apple AirPods on the YouTube Live. All you have to do is write the word worm. At the moment, there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Sorry, this is taking longer than I thought. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Let's say 32. So you've got a 1 in 32 chance of winning whatever those things are worth for free. Mm. Uh, if you see now there's a code up on the screen, I think that's courtesy of our media department, that will only be live for six hours from now. So if you're watching this back and it's still on the screen, it won't work. And I'm sorry you missed out. You should have tuned in on the live. Uh, what else? I got my first nice comment. Thank you, Ta Taylor say, Thanks, Kira. Yeah. Um, from YouTube, Jonesy is the Albert Einstein of lawn. Seriously, <laughs> I can just see these people. You know, like <laughs> the angry folk that I was going to say spent eight or ten yeah. years at uni studying agronomy and mm. turf science, <laughs> and they're just like, "Are you serious?" Mm. Um, I, I don't think I don't. Yeah, I shoe left is untied. It's freaking me out. I think I can hold my weight in a few conversations, but I don't know. You'd better hold my weight. I guess we don't have the drums. All right, so we're going to give away the uh, headphones soon. I'm, I'm going to try. We need to finish this at four, I think. Do you need to go back to the shop? I'll find out. All right. Uh, so what we're going to do is quickly punch through as many questions as we can because I want to make sure everyone gets their questions answered and I've lost the chat. Dr. Worm. Doesn't count, Clayton. All right, here we go. Let's try and do some fast. Rapid fire. Drone Pilots Queensland on YouTube. Uh, who has been on our live before. Hey, boys, I'm in Brisbane and groom my tiff tough every two weeks during summer. Thoughts on grooming in winter? Love the live lunch sessions. Thanks, guys. Just as long as you're still getting growth, you can still be able to do it. Um, yes, I will be needed back at Dry Creek by four. Matt Lee on YouTube. Gents, down on the Mornington Peninsula. My Kaikuya is looking mint at the moment. Send photos, Matt, or it didn't happen. Four weeks since Trojan and NSFW routine. When's the best for Spartan treatment this year in Melbourne, Mornington Peninsula, which is probably 16 degrees by now. Yeah, uh, next Friday you can start from. But just, just next Friday. Well, it's the 1st of, of um, March. All right, there you go, Matt. Uh, I am building an empire on IG. Hi, lads. 
Yeah, I know. I thought they were oh, going to say... Oh, that's the name. Yeah, oh. I thought they were going to say... Oh, sorry. I thought they were oh, building yeah. an empire. Yeah. Okay. Well, they probably yeah. are. Yeah. Um, I just laid down Trojan yesterday afternoon and now it's been raining all day. Is that going to be an issue with washing away or does that stuff go straight into the soil? Um, as long as the water isn't pooling on the surface, it, it should it should be able to... It should be okay. There's rain and then there's fucking rain. Yeah, and so. then there's the corn rain. Like, mom, the rain's are here. And then dad. Lena, Lena on Facebook. Hey, guys, just checking that it's fine to treat with roots and shoots one day and then BBW the next. Yep, that's fine. Shayla Reed on Facebook. Hi, guys, from the Riverland and have a large infestation of... Can you say African black beetles or is it just black beetles? No, it's African black beetles. African black beetles. What's the best product to use to get rid of them? A celeprin. A celeprin every six months? Mm Mm-hmm. Yep, and the other thing as well, if it's, it's a just prophylactic for your yeah, if it's just the black beetle, they don't cause the damage. They're the ones that plant the larvae. So people say, "Oh, I've got black beetle coming through my lawn." That's because they've probably just laid larvae. So the only thing you really need to be concerned about when it comes to black beetle is that oh shit, they're there. You don't need to kill them because usually by the time you've seen them, they've already they've already done what they've done and they're they're off to fly and go be beetles, whatever they do in their off season, I don't bloody know. But a celeprin is going to be the one that gets the grubs So, and you can get that in a granular form or a liquid form. Taylor Evans just said silverback code, $20 off Spartan pre-emergent, do yourself a favour. I just realised how much this is going to cost me. Um, 20, was it? So 20 bucks is 100 minus tax. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. We're, yeah. we're okay. Just. Yeah, I'll still be able to put fuel in the... Uh, yeah. In six point four in the chef. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Pittman on YouTube. YouTube. Daniel got, Pittman. I've seen him heaps I've got lately. Tubes on the mind. Mm. Can you use Lawn Hub liquid fertilizer in an injection irrigation injection? Uh, yeah, you can. If if you want a more, I just don't know the rates, but I can, I can, I can work out the rates for an injection module. If I was using any of our products. In a fertilizer injector, knowing how irrigation doesn't work all the time properly, I would only use roots and shoots yeah. and maybe three way. I think that money shot, you put it in an irrigation system and you're going to have very colorful footpaths and driveways, and wet, you're probably likely to burn unless you can do a dose of wet and then water it in for a period afterwards. Mm. Chris Klein White on Facebook. Hey guys, Kaikuya spots in my buffalo. Oh, sorry, man. Oh. Do I just admit defeat? Will it take over the lot? Cheers. Say it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I was <laughs> literally about to say that. Yeah, look, yeah, it's just going to be a battle now for who who gets top spot. Unfortunately, I think as well on a small lawn, if you care and you've got the time, mm. you can do anything. Yeah, the reality is a lot of times people are fighting. Um, like you, th- you hear about products that are becoming resistant. Uh, pr- lo- <laughs> <laughs> Where's my thinking music? You hear about weeds that become chemical resistant, etc. What will happen is at home. So for my front lawn, for example, I can hand weed the whole front yeah. lawn. I don't need to put chemicals no. out if I don't. If I'm having issues with certain things, not golf courses. It's just not commercially viable no. to do so. So there is a reality that you could change. I've got dichondrus coming into my uh, front lawn, mm-hmm. and I'm just pulling it out by hand. Yeah, and you could probably do the same thing with with kike, and you could get down there and you could paint on life estate. I'll would be very careful around touching it, but yeah, um, I don't think it's um, yeah, it's not the be all and end all. <laughs> if you've got the time, then yeah, you can do anything. But. Oh, Taylor Evans and five dollars off premature. I'm winter ready, so horny. Oh, and another five dollars off of roots and shoots. Seriously, wet pun intended. Sorry, Clint, you won't be able to afford fuel tonight after I clean you out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lee Cox on Facebook. Why yeah. BBW says not used for winter, but wet you can. Jeez. Yeah, I think that may be just a colour image problem on the bucket. Oh. Yeah, you can use wedding agents. That's a sure. graphic design yeah. problem. Not a Kira problem. So no. Okay, Kira. All right. Yes. Uh, Jay Purdy just sent us through a gift on TikTok. That's our first legitimate gift. We Kira's, are rich. Kira's was illegitimate. Yeah, we are rich. Now. What does that mean? Tell me. I'm, I'm not, I'm, I was born in the 80s. I don't understand. Like the kind of coins you'd use in Mario Brothers? For a real cashola. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're putting fuel in the in the Chev now. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what engine's in the Chev? Is it an LS? Three. 
don't know. Is this 6.2, you said? 6.4, 6.2. 6.2, that, my other car was a 6.4. The That's the Hemi yep. one, yeah. All right, let's hurry up. Let's go through this because Jonesy's got to go actually do some real work. So Chaos Within 27 from Victoria on YouTube. I have established Buffalo that is green and well spread. Two weeks ago, I scalped it and it bounced back well so far. What products would you recommend to step it up a notch? Um, sorry, has he fertilized yet? Uh, I don't know him. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. You could literally just, yeah, if, if you want to step it up a notch and it's responded well... You go two routes. You could go, um, you go Trojan or Premature at this time of year, uh, or you could just get on the Liquid Train. There's lots of lots of. Uh, if you use this, this discount code, you get a nice little sale on your on your Liquid Spray. But available for five hours and forty five yeah. minutes. So yeah, either either. I want to see how many people are on our website. <laughs> lots. I'm curious. Live. Actually, massive shout out to Western Australia. Yeah. Perth has always been a battle for us. And Perth just overtook Adelaide in uh, website visits, I guess would be the best data. Mm. And sales. Um, and funnily enough, New York ranks in the top 15 now. <laughs> and Auckland. <laughs> and Los Angeles. And yeah, San Antonio. Jesus. All right. Sorry, I shouldn't say that. Okay, back to the questions. Let's get this done because Jonesy has to go to work. Thanks for the discount code. Getting a dry college pack now. Thank you very much. Chaos within 27. Is that all of them, Kira? Uh, Troy White on Facebook from Queensland have used NSFW on Spurge. Mm -hmm. Some started to brown in 24 hours, but some it still looks healthy as three days later. Should I reapply and how long should I wait? Um, yeah, so Spurge is, is not something that it's registered to target, but it, the actives in it have been used to control Spurge. Spurge? So Spurge. general advice? Yeah, general yeah. advice is that I'm pretty sure from memory Spurge requires two or three applications to fully kill and I th it very similar to like a, um, like a fungicide. It's within a certain period so of time. 21 days. Kind of yeah, so 21 to 28 days you want at least two or three applications. Luke Gassy, Gassy on YouTube. Thoughts on putting pre-emergent down this late in the season to help with Paspalum coming up New South Wales Central Coast, temps and rain all over the place. Yeah, get it down. Get it down and then probably reapply and if you're getting too much rain, reapply in three months' time. Um, I saw a question somewhere here about us stocking hardware, tools, that kind of thing. There's one here saying, I treated Grey Spot one month ago with in SWB with Clorotin 720. It appears to have removed the fungal infection. Would you recommend another treatment? And if so, location Melbourne, Victoria. I would I would recommend now preventative. Yeah. So do the three like. Yeah. So those. so Clorotin Wicked knocked it down. It's done what it's supposed to. I'm, I'm happy that you've had success. Then I'd um, yeah jump on to the Lawn Hub website and check out our fungicides there. Yeah. Um, Oh, what was the one I said before? Headway, Headway Max? Or Halo. No, no, no. That, that's a herbicide. Um, Headway sounds like it could be ours. <laughs> could you... Yeah, Heritage oh, Max, go. yeah. Could you put a pack and plan together for a buffalo lawn in Sydney? Dry college pack. We have uh, a bunch of packs yeah. that would be suitable for buffalo... David Nelson, one of the beautiful things about our products is that they can be used on buffalo and so you could use the dry college pack. If you've got weeds there, you want to maybe look at a pack that's got NSFW mm -hmm. in it. Uh, there is a thing called the Willy test on our website yep. and you can go through and answer a few questions and it will give you a couple of suggestions on things that might be most suitable for you. There's a lady in Victoria that can use those <laughs> mushrooms. <laughs> Was she from Victoria? I thought she was from Tasmania. <laughs> I'm not getting into this. Anyway, buffalo only fertilizers are a myth. Yep. You mean they've been lying to us? Absolute myth. Taking the PI double five. Best product, soil, sand, etc., to fill in craters. <laughs> I love this. 80 mil deep. Like Jesus. Craters, craters, craters are like your car fits in it. But okay. <laughs> So small craters from Josh. Josh has asked that question on Facebook and on YouTube. He obviously wants an answer. 
Um, that much, I'd look at a Sandy Loam. Yeah. From railways.net.au. Yeah, that's... Uh, we won't deliver to... Too far away from, from Renella. <laughs> well, if you're going to pay for it, we might. Mm. Our trucks are only insured for 250 oh, kilometres. We'd have yeah. to get our truck insurance yeah. upgraded. Um, yeah, for, for something really deep, I'd look at Sandy Loam. Yeah. Just scarified, aerated and applied Trojan and BBW. They actually wrote Torgan and Barbecue. <laughs> Anyone... Uh, sorry. Any, Fucking auto Anything correct. else I could or should put on in Adelaide? Um. In about seven to fourteen days, once you start to see recovery, check out roots and shoots. A uh, question from Jazz in our finance department: Can uh, someone do payments? Have you banked that check from the Kia? <laughs> <laughs> Me? Yeah. And if, have you got the check? No, I've I haven't been to DC. I come straight from um, KT. She asked me to do payments as well, but we're on the pod. And I don't want to get hacked. There'll be someone that will be able to, you know, see my eyeballs and see my screen. Dylan knows what's up. Yeah. Sorry, just yeah. dealing with some operational stuff <laughs> for WaterPro. Uh, I'm going to have a crack at this. Okay, I'm excited. Vasilios Carvelas, Carvel, Carvelas on Instagram. Can I use Spartan and NSFW together? No. They need to be two separate applications. Reason being, although although you can spray Spartan and leave it on the leaf for seven days before watering, I only advised against that because for me, these products, when I purchased them, were not cheap. So you want to get the maximum use out of these products. So for me, if you're applying Spartan, apply it with a wetting agent and water it in straight away then apply NSFW. It's always better, in my opinion, to get the pre-emergent down first, then use the herbicide. Fuck. What? Fuck. Oh, he's mad. You shouldn't have left that Kia in the hands of other people. Why? What happened? I'll explain after. Oh, fuck. Um, all right, let's give away some prizes and then get the fuck out of here. All right, so Worm, I'm going to do a random number generator from 1 to fuck, 38. And then I'll count them down. Random number generator. Obviously, how these display on my screen might be different to yours. 1 to 38. 19. I'm going to count down from the top comment, 19 comments down on the YouTube and count to the 19th worm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. C. Manning Shawcon. How do I reply? You can't. Great. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Thank you. C. Manning, Shawcon, you've won um, some Apple AirPods, so you too can be cool like the youth of today. Now we need to shoot over to Facebook and give away a... Spray pack. Spray pack using a random comment picker, which I now have a subscription to a website service that does that, which is really exciting. Uh, probably shouldn't be on WaterPro's Facebook page. What am I doing? Here I am. All right. Sorry, guys. Really exciting. Wet. Control C. I'm going to put that into my random comment picker and see if it works. Oh, if you have sharp, you would have seen the other lawn care company name that I had registered instead of Lawn Hub. <sighs> What's Dylan saying? Message on TikTok. How often is too often to fertilise cooch lawn over summer, Newcastle? How often's too often? 
you want to wait at least, if you're going granular, at least six to eight weeks before you reapply. And liquids, you want to wait at least four to six weeks from that application. Of the same product? Of the same product, yeah. I can't. I'm not doing this. All right, so we're going to do this differently because I'm getting impatient. How many of these do we have? 34. We've got 34 wet. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to rank them in order of newest, which puts Jody Crow at the top, Clint Osborne at second. And then I'm going to do a random number between 1 and 34. And then I'm going to count them down. And then we are going to give away Kira's pick of the best question. So 30, of course, it's not two. Thanks. That, that's great, Google. 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Talk about something, Jonesy. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, he caught me off guard there. Is there any questions, Kira, that he hasn't answered? What's um, everyone doing this weekend? Let me know. That's okay. That's all good. Uh, 30. Brent Crichton. How many weeks between using bow and arrow? Use it three weeks ago. Is it worth applying before winter? Shaq23 on Instagram. So every six you can apply, you can uh, have a follow-up application of bow and arrow uh, every six weeks if required. Um, But if you're finding that you applied it and then it's – like it wilted the weeds and now they're starting to come back on the rebound, get back on – just you can apply it now. Get back on top of it and see if you can knock them down. What are you doing? Oh. What lawns do you guys have from Orcas and Huntington? I have in my backyard Tiftoff and uh, – Scatterings of dirt. And in my front yard, I have a beautiful uh, blend of fescue, which has been quite enjoyable to grow. I haven't grown from seed before, uh, but it's quite sensitive. If something um, if something harms it at all, you have to reseed it. And I have Santa Ana out the front, and I had Santa Ana out the back, but my dog killed it. So I dropped some pure kaku seed. Now I have kaku out the back. I also, I had a, for three years, I had a blend of Santa Ana and Pencross bent grass. I've since um, sprayed all that out. So it's just Santa Ana again, which makes me really happy because it's my favorite lawn. Okay, last thing we're going to do, then we're going to get out of here. Uh, Kira has chosen Angus McGregor. As the best question, who will also win a spray pack. Uh, Kira has chosen Angus because he has been on the live Mm. or no, been with us since the start or this entire live and has answered a bunch, uh, sorry, has asked a bunch of questions. So thank you, Angus. There was a really good question in there that I wanted to reward. I can't remember who it was. The TikTok one, the user 35557. What's that? Oh, Ligma. Yeah. No, something else. Anyway. Usually I get a random email saying, hey, um, you said you were going to give me something. Are you going to give me something? I'm like, yeah, I'll give you something. Yeah. So uh, thank you to all of you that, tr- uh, that took the time out of your day to tune in and I appreciate all of the employers out there who are paying their staff <laughs> to watch us talk shit for two hours uh, unknowingly. It is much appreciated. Um, we'll be back again next Friday. Actually, I might just check my calendar and make sure that we are able to do a 12 o'clock next Friday. He's playing the music. He's playing the shut up music. Oh, fuck. A bit premature. I'm just a little bit It's not flustered. premature if you mean it, Dylan. Remember that. Okay. <laughs> uh, start a month barbecue railways. Oh. We'll be here at 12. All right. Peace. Peace. Keep it green. See yeah. you next week. Cheers. Bye-bye. <laughs>